Hey everyone, now that we've created an account in Google Plus and we're in, we're going to take a look at how you get around and how you make the most of this. Uh, as I said before, I use Google Plus uh, to, as my personal learning network. I use it as a way to get connected and share my ideas and learn from other people. Uh, so there's a couple different ways that I use that. Uh, number one is if I click over here on this little pop-out bar, I can go see my profile. The home page is where I am right now. That'll bring me to all the recent links. Profile will bring me to my page. Uh, that's helpful if I want to go edit, receive something I posted, actually posted. Uh, people is where I keep track of who I've put into circles. A circle is sort of like friending or following somebody else. Uh, photos is a great tool that we can talk about another day. I don't really do anything with what's hot or events. Um, or pages. I use a lot of communities and hangouts on air and I don't really pay attention to the local part. Uh, that's just me. So if I go to home, it's going to show me all the recent posts. So the way that Google Plus operates is they have these things called cards. Okay, uh, So these are all, this piece right here is a card, this piece right here is a card, um, and as you see, we'll take a look at this one right here. What you have is this is the general group that this was shared in, whereas this one over here was shared privately just with me. Uh, this is the individual at Senate, Mike, Mike Mackley, um, and it's all about Raspberry Pi. Here is the, the content, and this, this is the link right here. So if I want to go take a look at what he had to share, I can click on that link, and it brings me right over. So a lot of this, if you use social networks, you're used to it. The thing that makes... Google Plus Fun is, first of all, I can hover over Mike, and let's say I, I believe that this is somebody I want to regularly follow. If I hover over his name, I can add him to a group. Now, I have different groups than you probably do starting up. Anybody that I want to follow, I put in my friends group. Uh, anybody that I want their contact information on my phone so I can call them, or basically people that I'm friends with and I contact them all the time, I'll add it to Android. Um, so what I'll do is I'll add him to the friends piece and then click off and now you can see he is connected to me as a friend. Um, if you look at the hashtags I can click on it and see what other hashtags are out there for that same one. Google Plus will automatically add hashtags. Uh, the other thing that you need to know is if you have any sort of contact at all or a notification coming in what you want to do is look for this little bell up here. Now this changes all the time where they put it, what it looks like, but lately this is the bell. This is called Mr. Jingles. This is all notifications. So if I have somebody that just followed me or commented on a post or tries to have a hangout with me, it'll be up here in Mr. Jingles. I can scroll down and see all the, of the other notifications that I've had. And you can see right now I'm caught up and there's nothing else that I have to do. And there's Mr. Jingles right there. Uh, a couple other things we'll take a look at while we're here. Once again, we looked at home. We've looked previously at my profile. This is basically my page and all the links that I've shared recently. But some of the fun things on here, the reason why I use Google Plus as my personal learning community or my personal learning network is this communities feature that they just added. Now, a community is a group of people that all are sharing or researching or talking about the same idea. So you can see there's a couple community invitations up here that I haven't responded to yet and then down below here's all of the communities that I'm a part of. Now at this point when you start Google Plus you probably don't have any communities and that's absolutely fine. You might notice that when you start they also recommend uh, some random communities for you usually Google Plus at the beginning doesn't know you so as it sees the sort of things that you share and the ideas that you share it'll start to add you into ones but if you find one that you want to join let's say I want to join this e-learning professional group I can ask to join the group and most of these this one here is a public group so I can read it but I have to ask for permission to get in some of the other ones will let you in immediately. So if you find something that you want to join, go ahead and join it. But if you find a group that 
or, or you're looking for a group, let's say I am interested in a STEM group. There's STEM on Google Plus, STEM educators. This one has over 3,000 members. Um, let's say I find one that I'm interested in. I'm going to go in and click on this one. And once again, it's a public group. There are at, you know 12,000 members in this one. This this group is pretty robust. It links everything here. So these are the different types of posts that we have. So I can find all of the posts that are all about robotics. And like I said, this is 12,000 people globally that are interested in STEM and sharing ideas about STEM and basically posting pieces. So I might go ahead and ask to join this group. Um, the other thing that I use Google Plus for in communities is learning. So let's say I'm in this group now. I want to follow the group and I can add it to my other groups. But if I want to, the other thing that I do is I use it to ask questions. So for example, uh, I'm big into Chromebooks recently. So there are two great groups that work on Chromebooks. Uh, there's also a couple WordPress pieces here. A lot of the work I do with Google Sites, I learned from Google Apps as a free LMS. So I'm launching my own MOOC and I built it up and it was all basically motivated by stuff that I learned in this community here. If you're interested in Google Apps and you use Google Sites and Google Apps for your classroom, I cannot recommend enough using the Google Apps as a free LMS. Join the group. There's a lot of people globally that are sharing ideas and showing other people how to make this learning happen in their classroom using free tools. So basically you join the group and I'm already a member. I can go in, I can leave a link and leave a post for other people. I can uh, share photos, videos, or I can just ask basic questions um, to the group and see what other people have to say about it. So this is one of the most powerful pieces for me is the personal learning network that I now have through Google+.